What will you do if someone you love passed away but they never really leave? In 1992, Stephania's family noticed a sudden change in her behavior marked by hallucinations, convulsions, and frequent mentions of shadows in her room at night. Despite seeking medical help from multiple doctors, her condition worsened, leading to her mysterious demise weeks after being admitted to a hospital in Madrid. Stephania's parents kept her belongings in her room untouched, but one day, everything inside the room was scattered. As days passed, the situation got scarier. They began Mama. hearing voices from Stephania's room Mama. and fresh scratches began appearing on the walls, same marks made by Stephania when she was still alive. Even more terrifying when Stephania's mother was sleeping, she suddenly felt that someone was on her chest and strangling her. Bizarre events continued until the family decided to leave the house and the paranormal activities stopped happening. Nigel, what are you doing? Nigel. <laughs> Always hunt with others. Never alone. Something isn't right with this deer. Spooky bitch. This is why you should stay away from sacred grounds. On January of 2019, during a marathon in the Hawaiian island of Oahu, a woman by the name Kay Borlase witnessed what she describes as the mythological entity known as the Night Marsher. Night Marshers are known as the ghosts of ancient Hawaiian warriors who are set to come forth from the burial site, then march towards sacred lands. Sometime during Kay's run through the dense forest, of a man is seen watching her. She mentions that no one should be there since the track is off limits and in the middle of the forest. So did Kate truly encounter the marching spirit of a night marcher or is it something else? This is why you should never buy an antique doll. A Japanese antique collector and an avid paranormal fan was fascinated by the legends surrounding Naroko, a faceless doll that was rumored to imprison an emperor's soul. He sought to obtain the doll at any cost. After years of searching, he finally obtained the faceless Naroko, but unknowingly unleashed a horror into his life. During the night, while Naroko is being displayed in the corner of a dark room, the doll begins to shake violently. 
The collector was terrified by what he witnessed, but he gathered up courage to approach the doll to investigate. As he tried to touch the doll, a sinister hand emerged from its dress and took his life. When his body was found, the doll was nowhere to be seen. To this day, the whereabouts of this doll remains unknown. Dude, this light has literally been turning on and off all morning and we have no idea what's happening. It just turned off. That is so weird. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. What the fuck is She's happening? here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. Dude. She's here. Off. Alexa, she's here. Dude, what is going on? That is so creepy. Note how Alexa starts saying the words, she's here, as soon as the light bulb starts flickering. It's a bizarre coincidence. Anyway, Alexa did it again. Check it out. That, that's not real. That's a fucking skinwalker. That's a fucking skinwalker. You. Oh, I'm putting my drink down. That's a fucking skinwalker. He was looking at me. Come on, focus up. Oh, shit. Come on. Focus. That's a fucking skinwalker. Is that a cow? This eerie video was posted to Reddit by a specific user, I'll tag him below, and while exploring a house he found on Zillow, he found a loose floorboard, and underneath there was a freezer, and what he found was haunting, and when he told the realtor to call the police, she quickly shooed him out of the room. When he posted the video to Reddit, the comments were full of speculation as to what it could be. He hasn't posted a part two, but if he does, I'll let you know. But I'm really curious about this one, what do you think? What this 
is. But there's a big bag in there with water. 